Hello and welcome to this our walkthrough video for our Launch Control XXL remote script. The Launch Control XL has been pretty much our go-to controller since we picked it up from Novation. Fantastic range of features. You've got full track volume control, you've got pan and send A and send B and that's in factory one. You've also got the ability to change this bottom row of buttons from perhaps mute to solo or even record arm if one of your tracks is actually enabled to accept such an input. With the standard script as you move what's being focused on by the Launch Control XL you'll see the yellow bar at the bottom updating to give you an indication. We've added, as you can see here on the screen, a red box in this case, a 1x8 box, which is actually yellow because we've got the XXL remote script installed in our preferences as control surface number two. One of the great features of the Launch Control XL is most people don't use PAN in a performance setting, so you can switch the bottom row of encoders to look after whatever device is blue-handed which is great working with the paradigm of Ableton's live racks, which have a maximum of eight macros exposed at any one time. But if, for example, you're using a slightly more complex instrument or effect, perhaps like the base station here, you've only got direct control over eight at any one time. Now you can bank up and bank down, but with 128 parameters available, you could be banking up and down for quite some time to find the focus on the parameters you want. So we've taken the advantage of the user modes with the Launch Control XL and we've repurposed a couple of those to enable you to have further levels of control. If you hold user and go into user mode 6, you've now taken over all of the encoders to give you control over the first 8, the second 8, the third 8, so 24 parameters at any one time. You can also bank up. And as you can see here, the LEDs have changed color to enable you to visually see that you're in a different bank. Here we've got another eight, 12 parameters that have been exposed. But after that, there's nothing for the Launch Control XL to map to. So there's no LEDs that are available there. We've also got the ability to have the device lock so when you move around your Ableton set, you remain locked on the parameters of the device you're in control of. I'll take that off. The bottom row in this mode controls device on and off, but if you want, you can press record arm and that will then control device select. In addition, user 7, which doesn't look anything, has effectively been exposed to Max for Live so that you can grab hold of, use the LEDs, listen to any of the controls that are within the controller without having to disable any of the standard functionality that you'll find in the Factory 1 setting. 